What's going on YouTube? My name is FG3000. I'm back in the place to be and welcome to Disney Sorcerer's Arena. This is a brand new hero collector that came out just this morning. So if you do want to download the title, I will have the links in the description below. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, obviously this is a hero collector based on Disney franchises and you guys know FG love him some Disney. Um, I feel like, you know, anime is great, but there is no IP on the planet that has more notoriety, more popularity than Disney franchises. So um, as you guys can see, you can see, um, certain characters here from Monsters Inc, Aladdin, Little Mermaid, Toy Story, Gargoyles, which I was super shocked to see. We have like Darkwing Duck here, Pirates of the Caribbean, more Toy Story here. Um, we have Pocahontas, Sergeant Calhoun over here, Lion King, Frozone, Genie, a lot of really cool, Chippendale. <laughs> like I don't think I've seen any Disney game, well at least that I play, that had Chippendale characters. So that's super awesome there as well. Old school Mickey Mouse, you have the Queen of Hearts. So yeah, when it comes to the heroes that you can collect in this game, Easy stamp of approval from FG. That's just cheating. All right, that's just cheating. Got Rafiki here as well. Some Tron characters. Simba, Zeus. Very, very cool. So love the collection of characters here. And obviously there's going to be even more on the way. So very, very nice. Let's go ahead and jump into a combat, ladies and gentlemen. Now, this is going to be one of those types of hero collectors that has multiple different types of stamina and campaign and requirements. So as you guys can see here, the grand campaign allows you to use both heroes and villains. Hero, just heroes. Villains, just villains. And they do have different stamina. So this purple stamina is only for the grand campaign. This yellow stamina is for both hero and villains. And then it looks like there's a different type of PvP arena that opens up at level 27. I already have one PvP op unlock right now that I'll show you. But there looks like there's even more PvP here to come later. So let's go ahead and jump on it. We'll do this grand campaign for right now. As you guys can see, pretty straightforward when it comes to hero collectors. You're going to go from node to node to node, three star in each one as you move along. So let's go ahead and do this one here. Um, here are all the different rewards that are currently underway. Um, you can auto win this after you three star the stage with no VIP. However, this game, it doesn't have VIP. It has a subscription service that we're going to be talking about throughout this video. So stay tuned for that. Um, here are all the characters that we're going to bring into combat with us. We also have some summoner spells that we can bring as well. And these are actually very cool. Um, and there is a nice variety of different summoner spells that you can bring. So you can kind of, you know, um, offset your weaknesses or increase your strengths based on which type of summoner abilities that you decide to bring into a combat. So here we are in combat. Let's go ahead and turn off autoplay. We're going to put it on times two speed right now. More to come on that. Um, graphically... I wish it could look a little better. It could definitely look a little better, but it doesn't look bad. When you see close-ups of the characters, you really kind of see like, ah, come on, game. But overall, I still like it. Um, pretty straightforward when it comes to combat. It's going to be your standard turn-based JRPG-style combat. You're going to have basic attacks, as you guys can see there. Um, certain abilities that have additional effects, like this ability right over here has a stun component. Pretty straightforward. If you played RPGs before, you kind of know what to expect. Buffs, taunts, heals, debuffs, etc., etc. This right over here with Sully over here is an AoE taunt plus damage. Um, Little Mermaid heals. So very, very straightforward. Um, my, I'm so happy to be able to play Gargoyles, ladies and gentlemen. That is awesome. <laughs> you don't see that every day. Um, some of the characters also have um, some additional passives as well. So basically, Hook over here, um, the more damage he takes, the less HP he has, the more opportunity for haste he has as well. So very, very cool. Um, also just got this as well. Inflicts vulnerable on target opponent. I literally just got that. I don't even know if that is. I'm going to smack it on somebody real quick. Um, next harmful activated ability target will deal a critical strike. Gotcha. So that is basically combat, your typical turn-based JRPG combat system. Um, as you go through the stage, you'll also build up those summoner abilities that I just showed you. Um, so we're going to let this auto play out just for a little bit. There goes one of them right over here, and you literally summon him onto the battlefield. And he actually has a very cool ability. Um, if he kills someone, he basically gets to take another turn. Um, you also have this big AoE shot that I'm going to wait until the next... Actually, that was it. We're done. GG. <laughs> So there you go. That's basically combat here in Disney Sources Arena. Here are all of our goodies here. Um, so let's go ahead and click continue because I don't want to do another stage there. I want to jump over here into the Heroes campaign um, because the Heroes campaign has a little bit different of a twist here. So as you guys can see, once again, typical, go from node to node to node, three star in each one. Um, there's also an elite path here as well. So you know a lot of these hero collectors have elite stages that allow you to farm fragments for characters. This one kind of integrates them together in one screen. So this is the regular pathway here, and here's the elite path up here. So I can go to this stage real quick. And here we're going to show off some of the autoplay speeds um, because, like I said, this game does have a subscription-based service that does lock away some quality of life features behind that sub. So I'm going to give you a quick preview of what that looks like right now. 
I like this background. The backgrounds look better than the, like, the characters, I just feel like, like, even the enemies look pretty good. So let's go ahead and turn this on autoplay. So times two autoplay is available for everyone for free. This is what times two speed looks like. So you guys can get a feel for that. Look at the little metal gargoyles. That's how they gonna get me, man. They're gonna get me with freaking gargoyles. <laughs> so this is times two speed. This is free, right? I'll let this whole wave kind of play out. And then on the next wave, I'll turn it on to times three speed. So in order to have this, you have to have an active subscription service. And I hate, I despise quality of life features being locked away via subs. I don't know if you got a full feel for what that looked like. So let's do one more of those on times three speed all together. Cause you might not have, that was actually pretty quick. Um, so then of course I got a three star here. I can auto win. Did I use all my stamina? No, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> Auto win all those. I'm done for the day. Keep it moving. So let's go and do this one completely on times three speed. So like I said, you can get a feel for that. All right. It's launch day, so I feel like maybe these load screens are just kind of like, um, like stress on the servers type of loading. Not necessarily game loading, because I could have sworn this loaded a lot faster. I used to watch previews of this game. So I'll let this play out on times three speed um, while I, I rant about subscription services and locked away quality of life features. Here's my issue. I know a lot of people do not like VIP, but VIP is infinitely better when it comes to being compared to this system. So in a VIP system, once you get like, let's say VIP five, those quality of life perks are unlocked forever. You can come back to your game a year later and those perks are still waiting for you. When it comes to a subscription, service that has locked away quality of life features today you could spend seven thousand dollars don't do it don't do it today you could spend seven thousand dollars in the game just going crazy next month say goodbye to all your vip features you haven't given me any money this month who cares about last month like that that just bothers me that that bothers me so much that 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 these games have those types of systems so let's go ahead and jump on over to that real quick so you guys can kind of see what it is all about. So here's VIP. I bought it for the sake of the YouTube. Sure, FG, come on, I, I did. Um, so every single month, if you want to continue to have these, you have to buy VIP every single month. Does not matter what you did last month. And that's, that's like one of my biggest issues um, because these things just go away no matter how much money you spent. But anyway, um, so you're gonna get gems every single day. That's pretty straightforward. You have a 10 minute cooldown time in between, which is super annoying. But if you're VIP, that goes away. Um, some more stamina here. That's not that big of a deal. Um, your daily login rewards are times two. Um, those elite nodes, so farming for characters, I get three rolls as opposed to just three. Or I get four as opposed to just three. Um, club dungeon, I get four as opposed to three. One touch complete all challenges, and I'll show you what that looks like here in a second. Actually, I'll show you right now. That way we can kind of show you. Um, so in this game, once again, you can auto win without a VIP, without a sub, without tickets. Auto win is just, all you gotta do is just three start the stage and then you're done. So what that VIP gives you, as opposed to saying, all right, go in here, auto win. Go in here, auto win. I can just press this one button right over here, auto win all of my daily resource grinds all at once. So that's where that perk comes from when it comes to that there. Um, exclusive VIP access, one touch purchase all. So yeah, you can basically go into these shops over here. Um, I think this one, so right now, if I wanted to buy everything in the shop, I can just press this buy all button with diamonds, cash shop diamonds, by the way, and I can buy everything in the shop. Also gold here as well. Um, so you know how these games have a little store here where you can buy things with your gold to kind of, you know, get upgrade materials, things of that nature. VIP gives you the ability to basically press this button one time, buy the entire shop out. Um, so that's another perk there. Um, let's see what else. Three times battle speed, I've already showed you that. And then additional team slots, like, come on. Once again, all of this stuff is locked behind VIP. The second you stop giving this game money every single month, all of these things go away, which is super annoying. Like I said, VIP, for whatever you think about VIP, VIP is much better than this because at least you get to keep your perks forever. This, as soon as you stop paying, they're gone. So kind of annoying there. Um, so I did show you some, uh, some uh, combat over here. Um, let's go ahead and jump on over here to the guild function. I did make a guild, Waifu Crew representing. Um, a 50 member guild, so pretty pretty meaty here. So if you do wanna join my guild, it is up and running to go. Um, with guilds, you do unlock this, I'm gonna, I'll call them clubs. It's basically guild, but they're called clubs in this dungeon. Um, you do unlock this dungeon over here, which is basically another way for you to get currency to you so that you can use inside the guild shop. Um, there's lots of different um, upgrade materials and character fragments that you can buy via these tokens. So that's pretty straightforward. You've definitely seen things like that before. 
Um, Club Conquest unlocks a level 20, uh, which is basically guild versus guild combat there. Um, Summoner Challenge, I just showed you this as well. This, these are going to be your daily resource grind. So you got gold, different upgrade materials for your characters, etc., etc., etc. Those are going to change based on what day it is. So that is that. Um, what I don't have unlocked over here is going to be the Tower of Endurance, which it looks like some type of you know, endless tower mode or something like that. More to come on that one. And then of course you have this PVP function, which is different from the other PVP function that we just saw. Uh, I'm just gonna spank these people real quick. <laughs> I, I've been, I haven't topped up yet. I'm, well, I bought the VIP. I bought the VIP for the sake of the YouTube, all right? <laughs> ah, come on, this opponent is currently engaged in combat. So I can't beat up on him because someone else is. All right, fine, we'll go up here. Let's see how good the autoplay is in, in combat. Um, definitely, oh my goodness. I can't fight nobody. I'll fight the strong guy. That's fine. Pfft, okay, we're not doing PvP right now because everyone is engaged in combat. All right. <laughs> so that is that. Um, on the plus side, on the positive side, there are a lot of active events going on inside the game at the moment. Um, can I get out of this PvP? Let me out. Why does it keep on? The back button is weird. Let's press the home button here. Um, so there are a lot of events going on right now. This one unlocks tomorrow. So in one day and 10 hours, we're gonna have this event that's gonna unlock, so more to come on that one. Um, there's this Mulan event currently going on. Um, so as you use stamina in your campaign and your hero and your villain campaigns, you're gonna get this currency here. Um, this currency can be used in an in-game gacha chest. So this is all free to play currency. You can use that um, to see if you can get some good luck here in this chest here. We'll skip the animation for right now. And this will get you some Mulan characters. So I always love in-game gacha chests. These are always fun. No problems with this whatsoever. There you go. Um, in addition to that, you can also use gems here as well. And I feel like this is probably the best use of your gems as opposed to like doing like these wide open chests that basically, like look at this. <laughs> you're probably better off if you're gonna be spinning gems, probably spinning gems in something like this. Let's go ahead and test our luck real quick. This will basically be the summoning part of the video. I got some tokens there that I can then turn around and use in that in-game gotcha as well. And I got 15 Mulan fragments, so I can go back over here. I like how those kind of feed into each other. So I would assume, once again, I am brand new, but I would assume that this is probably the best place to spend your, your gems um, is in these more focused banners there. Um, so that's that. Um, in addition to more events here, you also have this uh, Incredibles with... Um, Elastigirl over here. Um, level 22 is required, so more to come on that. I won't be able to actually do that at the moment, but um, the cool thing about these events is that, the, that they are one and done. These are not grindy events or anything like that. Once you complete them, once you get your rewards, you just move on to the next stage. So really what you're trying to do here is just try to qualify for these events, have the requirements here, defeat them, beat them, you're done, you never have to do them again. It's all about having the requirements. It's gonna be one of those games where the most, um, it's not how long someone can farm or anything like that, how long someone can keep on their computer, auto-playing and macroing, it's not like that. It's more of, do you have the right characters at the right tier level at the right levels in order to do this? If you do, it's probably pretty easy. Um, so those are all of the events that are currently in the game, ladies and gentlemen. I think we've pretty much covered most things here, right? Oh wait, there's a battle pass too. <laughs> so in addition to that VIP subscription service, there's also a battle pass. I, I'm not mad at battle passes because battle passes, their existence at least gives free to play players something free here. So as you guys can see, here's a free track here. Here's your paid gold track. There's also a quest here as well that we all get to benefit from. Once again, this is all, as you do these little uh, bonuses here, everyone gets rewarded with that. If you wanna actually buy the battle pass, um, it's $9.99 for the basic battle pass and then $20 for a battle pass that gives you boosted like tiers, which I'm just gonna, if I do decide to stick around, I'm just gonna do this basic one there. Um, there's lots of packs here, as you guys can see. Lots of little Mulan stuff here. Lots of packs that are gonna give you character shards. There you go. But that's pretty much the game, ladies and gentlemen, as it stands. Um, overall, I I'm just, I I'm okay with like the game itself. Um, it looks like it was gonna be a pretty good side game. I'm just not okay with like losing out on my, cause I, you know, FG man, I get, I, <laughs> I get very used to like high speeds. So like having my times three taken away from me just because I don't feel like topping up one month is gonna be really annoying. Um, this is a campaign chest over here. As you complete quests, you get uh, this currency here. Once again, this is all free to play. Lots of little small chests all the way around the game. I wish they would kind of streamline some of this to kind of make it a little bit more straightforward, but I guess the more you play, the more you realize this. 
Uh, look at that, I got a little exclusive thing here. Um, as you do your dailies, you get this currency here. And that can be used to open up a treasure chest. You got that 24 hour chest here. You got a four hour chest here. And then you also have some ad chests. So if you if you feel like watching a bunch of ads, you can watch 10 ads per day to get the chest there. Um, but that is that. And they also, this is gonna be one of those games that has those uh, free gem offers as well. So if you wanna buy some cryptocurrency over here, look at this. You can basically get about nearly $80 worth of currency here if you go buy some cryptocurrency. I'm, I'm thinking about doing this. Can I do this? Download the app, buy with a credit card, earn can i like buy like one dollar worth of cryptocurrency and get this can i i might try that <laughs> not sponsored clearly um so there you go ladies and gentlemen boys and girls that has been a look at disney sources arena my name is fg3000 i do thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video let me get, let me know what you guys think about this vip subscription service down in the comment section below and i'll see you next time later oh yeah one last thing i forgot to show you guys the upgrade process here in the game um so let's go ahead and use gaston as an example um so pretty decent quality of life the game lets you know um exactly if you have equipment on hand that could be equipped to your characters um, all you have to do is just press equip equip all will automatically equip everything that you have here you can hit tier up to go up to the next tier and it's very very straightforward um if you do not have the gear um the game will show you all right so you need four of these and then 18 more of these all you got to do click on this magnifying glass it'll show you the exact stages that they drop on and then right here from here you can basically just auto win um as many times as you need to to grab that specific piece of gear um, it also lets you know if, if it's in the shop or something like that as well. So very straightforward when it comes to upgrading your characters. Um, and then this game is, like I said, it's not like a grinder type of game. If you need to level up your character level, all you need to do is just use EXP juice. All of my characters are maxed out at level 15 um, because obviously this is going to be one of those games where your character levels are matched to your account level. So use EXP juice to drive up your levels. Um, you can auto win and very easily find the gear that you need for each one of your characters. Um, same thing when it comes to fragments the game will let you know exactly which stages have fragment drops for those specific characters everything's very streamlined when it comes to that um, and then last but not least when it comes to upgrading your actual abilities here um, there are some additional requirements and these come from your daily resource grind so um, this attack right over here if I want to go ahead and increase it up to level two um, that'll give me an additional critical strike um, chance if a, uh, if impacted by haste so if this character has haste 50% damage dealt on the highest one there so there you go very very straightforward so when it comes to upgrading your characters everything is extremely streamlined very easy to find out exactly what you need from that so captain hook is a beast and try to get him online as fast as i can all right so now we're done i'm out and i'll see you guys in the next video later